All right, how's it going? Once again, this is Jose Trujillo setting up here on a canvas. I want to show you guys another one of uh, my paintings. This is a painting session. I will be painting a... Uh, well, I actually started before you guys. <laughs> but uh, I'll be painting some flowers, okay? And this is a sort of a bouquet, bouquet of flowers. Um, a little, uh, not so much, not so much, uh, 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 still life, okay, more, uh, more shooting for the, shooting for the stars, no, <laughs> shooting for the, the, the whole, uh, uh, sort of garden, okay. So, I start with this type of brushwork sometimes. This is this is one of those times. And notice today I didn't I didn't draw it. I didn't draw any uh, any uh, I didn't create any line work. Sometimes I just like to go ahead and and and, and start that way. Um, one of the things that I like to do also and and and. This is, of course, once you start thinking more about it, right? And I know I've talked about not thinking so much on it, but when you're practicing and when you're learning, it's a good, it's a good idea, as, as well as it's a good idea to just learn how to observe, is to look at, for example, if you're going to do a... a I'm talking to, to artists, okay, out there. If you're going to do a still life, right? Uh, look at a very classical painting, uh... I don't know, a Caravaggio, uh, uh, Michelangelo, any very, you know, any of those very extremely classical uh, paintings, and see where they place their figures. And I'm not talking about their still lifes. I'm talking about their figures. Uh, this is a practice that I've that I've done for for quite some time, and it's not so much to to be able to create a perfect composition. I, I I used to do that. I don't really care much about that anymore. But it teaches you how to how to place things. It teaches you how to place things if you're after that. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, you don't have to do it all the time, but it's something you practice, right? I, as I mentioned this, this morning, oh no, it wasn't this morning, sorry. It was uh, uh, noon, I think, I was talking to you guys about it. And I was talking to you about how I, I like to sketch with charcoal and paper just to kind of practice that type of thing. And it comes out, it comes out uh, handy, right? When you're doing work like that. So any type of work, right? If you practice sketching with a charcoal uh, on paper, uh, you can practice those those types of things. I like doing that stuff. I don't know. I geek out on it. <laughs> I'm like, let me see, let me see where. Uh, El Greco's, uh, any of El Greco's paintings, or Velázquez's paintings, let me see where they placed, and, and, and rather than, than practice just uh, uh, the, the placement of the figures, the painting itself, the whole painting itself, and practice it, uh, rearranging that composition. I know I'm talking, uh, 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 there's a little bit more advanced for some of you uh, that, that, uh, Follow me uh, on, on my painting journey, and there are painters as well. But I, you know, it's worth saying. It's worth it's worth saying out there. And uh, and use that, right? Use that composition. But rather than just using it on on, on on figurative work, try to use it on 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 a still life. Try to use it in a garden. Try to you know, and and, and it'll. It'll show you, uh, because success leaves clues, so it'll show you what they did right. That's all, that's all I'm trying to point at. It'll show you what they did right. And, and you start, you'll start uh, understanding. You, you, you'll understand it by looking at it, but, uh, but if you look at it, you know, enough. But you'll understand it even more if you're a, a painter, a sculptor, or whatever, by practicing doing that. And one nice way of doing it, again, I know I'm beating the horse <laughs> to death, is by uh, doing quick sketches with charcoal or, or small paintings, you know. However, uh, the sketch thing is, is, is 
I, I believe it's much easier and much better because it's so quick, you know, because you're practicing. Anyways, enough with that. Let's get back to these flowers. This is one of my very expensive $2 brushes. <laughs> <laughs> Some people ask me like, like, what kind of brushes do you use? Oh, I use the most expensive brushes in the world. Be careful because they only make uh, so many of them. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I, I, I do like, I do have my set of more expensive brushes, but I don't, I don't always use it. Just because I've learned how to, I've learned how to just, you know, use things that make me, that work for me, you know, and. And it's not necessarily always the best, the most expensive. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes, depending on what you're doing. Uh, but not always. Okay. Here I am doing a sort of a... Um, uh, doing a, a, a dark background. Very dark. It's not black. Uh, but it is dark. And... And just kind of playing with not much mixed color. The mixed color really it's more on the back, on the background. I'm playing with reds, uh, blue, grays. Uh, the foreground or the the, the, the the flowers, right, are are uh, almost unmixed color, which is something that I like to do. I I, I enjoy very much what the impressionist painters, some of the impressionist painters painters did that. And I enjoy just applying um, uh, color right out of the tube. Okay, I, I don't I don't uh, mix much. Uh, as I mentioned before, the mixing really for me is uh, like a, a, a Surat, the pointillist painter, used to do it, which I think it's it's fantastic idea. It's a fantastic idea, which is if you're going to do if you're going to mix right. Let the eye mix it. Don't mix it yourself. And this is not in order to to do any cheap tricks or anything like that. This is so that you are uh, placing. Uh, you're actually playing with color at a, at a different. Doesn't doesn't mean that it's better. Doesn't mean that it's worse. It's just that you know bad or good. It's just at a different. Uh, it's a different dynamic at a different level. Yeah. Not better or worse. It's just a different way of doing things. And I really enjoy what what this, uh, these guys did. Monet did that too, uh, uh, but one of the, my favorite ones was, that did that was uh, Seurat, the, the, the point of this guy. The little guy! <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> I'm a little guy too, that's why I can say it. <laughs> oh no, he wasn't the little guy, I'm confusing him with Latrec. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm confusing him with uh, Toulouse Lautrec. Uh, yeah, I think Lautrec was the little guy. Little guy. So yeah. Something like that. Don't quote me on it. Alright. See, very... Uh, Direct. It's almost a... Uh... Oh! This does happen every now and then. This is the second time that it's happened. Maybe I'm shy. Maybe right now I'm, I'm, I'm a little shy. But this does happen. It's, uh... it's just part of it. It happens every now and then where... I'll drop my brush. <laughs> Although I like speed too, so maybe that's it has to do something with that. Because I, I do enjoy uh, um, I do enjoy speed in painting. And it's not speed painting. <laughs> I think some some people think it's speed painting, it's not. And I don't have it, I'm not talking over a sped up uh, video either. Some people have asked me that. Uh, th I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm so fast. No, it's just the way I do it. It doesn't have to be like this at all. Of course not. Everybody paints different. 
you know. But sometimes I go bananas, you know. Sometimes I go a little bananas, a lot of bananas, and I do stuff like this. Because I, I think that the whole point for me, right, the whole point of it is to experiment. I'm always pushing myself. That's one of the things that I, I feel very much, very proud about. I'm always pushing myself. I'm always looking um, to things that, that, because for the longest time I was, I was trapped into, into, you know, this is the only way you should paint. This is the only way. And I've and always, uh, ever since then, I've been, I've been afraid of, of that mentality, you know, that there is a singular way. There isn't a singular way. There's just painting. There's just creating art. There's not even just painting. There's creating art. And, and, and you know, and there's, there's, there's many ways of doing it. There's not one way of doing it. And don't, don't let people tell you that there is this way and there's that way and there's, you know, there's only the, the, the real way and the bad way. That's not true. This is the whole uh, idea of what realism is and what, and what, uh, what artwork is. This is a uh, much debated. It's always been debated. That's that's the what we consider realism uh, today. Uh, at some point, it was considered revolutionary. It was considered trash. You know, it was considered something horrible, something you had to burn and, and throw it away. So it's it's always we're always uh, as artists we're always pushing that. We're always pushing that boundary as we should, you know. And some people uh, do derivative, derivative work. <laughs> I love that word. And people are like, oh, it's so derivative. Well, yeah, I mean, whatever, you know. And some people uh, love to, you know, they, they love to push the, the boundaries themselves to, in style, not just in, in you know, uh, not just in art, um, what tools they use or whatever. Some people just like to push the boundaries also in style. And I just, I just think there's, you know, there's no wrong or right way of doing it. It's, it's just doing work. It's just doing work. The more you do it, and, and the better it is. There's just no... Uh, uh, the reason why I say this is because there's so much talk around that, you know, there's all this talk about art being uh, a certain way, and if it's not that way, there's something wrong with it. Which, of course, it isn't. This is Viridian, Viridian, yeah, this is Viridian. Uh, I love using Viridian, I think it's a magical color. I think Viridian... Uh, was given to us by the by the artist gods, <laughs> the art gods. <laughs> I don't know who came out with Viridian, but Viridian is one of those colors that uh, no matter what palette I use, somewhere I want to kiss a painting with Viridian. It's just one of those colors for me. I've always liked it. My palette has changed many times. But Viridian has stayed consistent because uh, I don't know. I have a respect for that color. It's 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 so uh, it's it, there's something to it. I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't just uh, describe it. There's something to this color that I enjoy very much. Uh, another color that I like to use over and over too is uh, magenta, but. With magenta, um, is uh, magenta is, seems to be fighting always with cadmium, <laughs> cadmium red. <laughs> either either I, I somehow marry them and make them live together, and then being okay, or it seems to be fighting for attention. At least in my mind. So. I'm sometimes careful where and how to use it. Many times I just like to mix it together in order to create a, a, a strong berry color. I love those berry colors, which are, are uh, 
inspired by my wife's makeup. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but I do it. Sometimes I just go and she loves buying makeup online and I go and check out what she's buying. You know, when the boxes arrive, those, those little boxes that... that um, I'm sorry, honey, I'm outing you with your makeup obsession. And, uh, and then I look at the colors. And that's the only thing I like about that. <laughs> I get to see what colors are are uh, are they 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 they're playing with because makeup makeup is uh, I feel like they they get they get they understand color makeup understands color makeup companies anyways there you guys go this is uh, an awesome. Uh, a little example here of what happens in the art studio in a very short period of time. This is the kind of stuff that that happens here. I love it. Every second of it. A little bit of blue. Who knows what's happening back there? You know? Sometimes I like what's happening back there more than the, 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 the foreground. Sometimes I just, I wonder what happens back there. Oh my God, I'm sounding like Bob Ross. Happy little trees. Guys, don't believe me. <laughs> I'm no Bob Ross, but I do like what's happening back there. Okay? I hope you guys had a, a, a great time watching this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Didi. Uh, I love this. It's uh, it's such a pleasure to 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 paint and uh, create create artwork. I think it's I think it's sort of like a magic trick. <laughs> you get to you get to pull a, a rabbit out of a hat, and 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 uh, you know the canvas being the hat, of course, in this uh, in this example. <laughs> It just gets to happen, so so I'm I'm uh, I feel blessed. Thank you so much, and I will be coming uh, daily with with uh, uh, on Facebook Live with um, oil painting sessions here. Check out the palette. Very messy. I like it messy. If it's not messy, I haven't been painting. <laughs> Take care and have a great day. Bye bye.